Something really, really interesting happened. If you've been following our channel and you've watched our previous videos, Letitia James, the Attorney General of New York, who went after Trump and fined Trump $400 million, and a lot of real estate investors are saying it was an absolute bubkus uh, charge. There was no victim. There was no crime. There was really no precedent, no, no warranting of any charge at all. Uh, but she went ahead and did that, and then she went to this uh, special ceremony honoring uh, certain members of the uh, FDNY commission, and she got booed. There was chance of Trump. She was very arrogant, saying, simmer down. We're in the house of God. <laughs> it was awful. I mean, I have previous videos. Go check that out on my YouTube or Rumble channel um, at Professor Nez. Um, and then you had, I did an entire video on Laura Kavanaugh, who is the FDNY DEI hire commissioner, who's not, never been a firefighter, never ever actually put herself on the line, sacrificed herself uh, in the line of duty ever. Um, she was a DEI hire appointed by none other than Eric Adams. And uh, she was at the St. Patrick's Day parade in the city yesterday and this happened. Check this out. There's two videos. The first video, and this is why I love the people of New York. The administration, the people running it, are absolute vermin. But the people of New York, the citizens of New York, the true blood Americans. I talked about Fonte and uh, Guillermo or Gelermo. I, I always mess up that guy's name. Those amazing attorneys who said they were going to work pro bono if any of these firefighters were quote unquote hunted down as chief commissioner Laura Kavanaugh said we're going to hunt them down and we're going to reprimand all the people who booed Letitia James when she was at that uh, ceremony um this is why I love the people of America this is why this channel exists is for us the people the real uh, bloodline of the entire country watch this first video of Kavanaugh in the St. Patrick's Day Parade, and then stick around. I'm going to show you another video of the firefighters who started walking afterwards. But let's check out this first video first. It is awesome. Check this out. <laughs> So the, 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 the little sign that this guy is holding, this awesome New Yorker who said, you suck, that sign right there, um, I have to blur it out or else they'll take the video down. Um, but essentially, it's pin the, tail on the, pin the tail on the jackass, it says, with a cropped photo of Letitia James, the attorney general who uh, committed an atrocity going after Trump, amongst other things on the head of a on the body of a donkey and you can hear him say you suck you suck in these awesome true <laughs> and the lady with the microphone is saying c-u-n-t kavanaugh oh my gosh it's so good so this next video i want you to see how uh i want you to see the next video of the firefighters who come right after chief commissioner uh, uh laura kavanaugh Again, another DEI hire, never been a firefighter. Watch this next video of the firefighters that walk by. I just love this. You're going to enjoy this. Check this out. Hey, hey, hey.
Look at the firefighters coming down. They appreciate it. Who wants to play pin the tail on the jackass? Oh, they like it. They enjoy it. They appreciate it. There you go, look at the firefighters, I appreciate it. Free speech, man. And that is what free speech looks like, ladies and gentlemen. That is what the true lifeblood of our country looks like. More and more people exercising. This is why everybody wants to come to the United States. This is why I love my country. Because we're allowed to express ourselves freely. We're allowed to share our voice. We're allowed to say what we want as long as it's not something incriminating or criminal or illegal. We're allowed by under the First Amendment the right to freedom of speech. And so, Kavanaugh, if you're listening right now, your language of hunting down those who actually sacrifice themselves and put themselves on the line, it's bad enough that you guys are defunding the police. Without law and order, you don't have a society. But then when you use language like hunt them down and re-educate them, you want to talk about fascistic, totalitarian, Nazi-type language? That's it. There's no better example than that. Not this bloodbath garbage that they're trying to attribute to Trump. Listen to the people of the city. Listen to your constituents. Listen to the public you're supposed to serve. What you are doing and what you're trying to do and reprimand and re-educate these firefighters is capital W wrong. Listen to these people. I just thought this was so amazing and I just had to share because the updates of these stories... The real kind of um, the real kind of uh, gist of everything that's happening with this story as it's unfolded is the atrocity of the memo, the atrocity of Laura Kavanaugh, and even Ju uh, Chief uh, uh, Fire Chief Hodgins, who who then retracted and redacted his statement. Um, but the 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 real reason for sharing this story is the people, the two attorneys 
who said we're going to work pro bono. If anybody dares comes after these firefighters and they need legal representation, we will represent you for free. The people of New York have had it enough. The people of our country have had enough of you guys who just think you can quash and squash any voice of dissent. That is a communist, totalitarian, state-run country. We are not communist China. If you want that, head on out. I'll help you pack your bags. We're sick and tired of you guys just making things up as you go along, writing, inventing new uh, parameters, protocol, laws, legislation, without any due process, without any uh, 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 rights at all. This is completely wrong. You can't just press your thumb down on any single voice of dissent. Dissent is actually not only allowed, it's not only uh, something that every American is entitled to, it is actually our obligation and duty to voice our dissent. If we see something wrong, that's America. That's the American way. So I throw this off to you, Nez Nation. I would love to hear from you. What do you guys think of this? This story might just keep unfolding and unfolding. And it just, to me, it just gets better and better. To me, it just becomes more symbolic of who we are as a, as a country, who we are as a people, the American people. I just absolutely love this. I would love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments what do you think? Do you think, uh, I'm happy to be wrong too. I'm always happy to be wrong. Do you think that these guys were out of line? Do you think that these people who uh, booed and shouted, uh, you know, you suck to uh, uh, FDNY Commissioner Kavanaugh were wrong? Do you think that they had every right to do that? And do you think that they should have been louder? I love the woman with the megaphone, by the way. Oh my God, I love her. Um, you can kind of ascertain what she was saying. Obviously, I had to bleep that out. But boy, oh boy, balls. This country needs balls. That's what we need. This country is all about courage in the face of every damnable infraction or uh, methodology to suppress and censor. It is bravery in the voice of authoritarianism. And I love that. Let me know in the comments. As always, I try really hard to respond to all the comments, but it's just literally impossible. Channel members get first priority. Super thanks get first priority. I really, really appreciate you. If you want to become a member, it, it's just literally the price of a cup of mochaccino per month. Literally, it's just a cup of coffee per month. And all the proceeds go back into the channel so I can keep producing free content for you guys. I really, really love you guys. I really, really appreciate you guys. We're just getting cooking. Things are just getting to heat up. It's going to be an amazing, amazing year i'm going to make the best channel you've ever seen on bringing you things that mainstream media and legacy media won't talk to you about because it doesn't fit the narrative so i appreciate your comments as always if you've made it this far make sure you click the link in the pin comment and become a nez nation insider what's the nez nation insider it's our free newsletter it's free just give us your best email and you're always going to be in the know and so i really really hope you'll become uh, a subscriber to our free newsletter. It's absolutely free because there's no telling what's going to happen to this channel. They might delete this because I'm saying things that they don't want to hear. I'm saying things that is a voice of dissent to the mainstream narrative. So make sure because you won't you won't miss out on anything. Uh, make sure you leave a comment down below. Check out these videos right here if you want to really get wrapped up. Uh, I'm sorry, caught up in all that is happening with this amazing story. Check these videos out. Subscribe and follow down there. As always in this nation, God bless you, God bless your families, and God bless America. I'll see you soon.